Hey guys, today I'm installing a window privacy film. This is to prevent anybody from peeping in and also to soften the sunlight a bit. The one I have here today is the Rabbit Go window film. It's from Amazon. It's a non-adhesive window film. All it needs is some soapy water and it clings to the window. If I ever need to remove it, I can just peel it right off. These types of films prevent 85% of the UV rays and it's energy saving. They come in different sizes and patterns and they're pretty cheap, starting at only $15. These are all the supplies you're gonna need. None of this comes with the kit. The only thing that comes with it is the actual film. So I have alcohol and soapy water. This is to spray on the film so it can move around and then you're gonna squeegee out the water. This I just use to make sure you get all the greasy stuff and is any residue that's left on the window. You need squeegees. I got a couple just to see which one will work the best. You're gonna need a pen, a ruler, a tape measure to measure the window, some cutting utensils, like I have a box cutter here, a stencil knife and some scissors. I have some tape to peel off the backing of the window film. Obviously I have the window film, something to cut on and some rags. Okay, so before we install the film, we have to clean the glass and make sure our area is prepped. So I'm just gonna use the soapy water and I'll use the alcohol after to get the rest of the soapy residue off. Get it nice and soaked up. This is a new build house, so there's a lot of dirt laying around here. So make sure you get in those edges because you don't want them to peel up after. Nice and clean. You can go just out the frame so there's no dirt tracking in from your hands maybe. I'm gonna use a different side of the rag, put some alcohol on it. Just making sure all the grease is off. You don't have to do this part, but I like to do it. So now that our glass is all clean, let's check out the film. So the instructions are actually inside the box. So you just have to cut open the box here. It actually says you could, you could scan right here for the video, but my video is gonna be better, so watch mine. So all the instructions are here. Scan. So on the instructions, it says trim film to required size, clean glass, wet glass with soapy water, peel off the backing film, set up the film on the glass, squeegee away all the water and air bubbles, cut off the margins. So that's what we're gonna do. This is my film, it's frosted. It has a lot actually, what's my size? I forgot my size, so I'm just gonna measure it. The size I bought here is 23 and a half inches. And my window is 20.5 inches. So I bought a little bit over. You don't wanna buy exact. If your window is 20 inches, don't buy a 20 inch film. You wanna have just a little bit of room for error. So the first thing I'm gonna do is measure the glass. 20 and three quarters. So I'm gonna just round up. So I'm gonna go 21 inches by, it says here 34 and three quarters. So I'm gonna go 35. So on my two edges, I'm gonna have a hangover. So I just have my cutting surface right here just cause I don't want to ruin the table. So my measurements were 21 by 35. Make sure you double check your measurements. You don't want to undercut your film. So 21 by 35. Gonna mark 35, three spots. And because I gave myself enough room to play with, I don't have, it doesn't have to be a perfect squared edge because I know out of the box, this is gonna have the perfect edge. So mine is gonna be the hangover. 
just gonna cut it with scissors, why not? Cool. Then you could save this for another project. What's this? Oh, the instructions are inside the roll too. But you're gonna follow my instructions. Okay, so our length is good. Now let's get our width together. Our width was 21 inches. So I actually don't need this. I'm gonna just use scissors. So I'm gonna measure one more time. 21 by 35. Just mark out a couple of segments. If you don't have a long ruler, I don't have a long ruler, but I just wanna make sure it's decent. Okay. And just use a ruler and mark out that line. Time to cut out this side. The window film is cut to size, so time to just put it up to the window, make sure it fits, and then we'll remove the clear backing and start installing it. I actually thought it was bigger, but... Okay, so my edge is this edge. So I'm going to make sure that the factory edge goes in here and then the hangover can come here and here. And then I can always cut that off after. There's a nice little tab here. This little tab you can use to peel off the clear backing. That's what I'm going to do. But first I have to saturate the entire window with soapy water. Doesn't matter if it gets messy or not. You want it to be completely saturated. You also want to saturate the privacy film, so make sure both sides are soapy. Get it nice and wet. Just gonna peel off the protective coat here. So this is the side that you want to put onto the glass. I'm gonna just lay it on the glass here. Doesn't matter if this side gets wet. Because in the end, both sides are gonna get wet. I'm just gonna lay it up here. Get my soapy water. And just start spraying it. You wanna saturate it. Saturate both sides. Get it nice and wet and soapy. Before I use the squeegee, you just wanna soap it. Just so the squeegee slides nice and easily without ruining your new film. I'm just gonna go in the middle here. Make sure all the sides are are good. You want to get all the water out. So I'm going to go like this. Don't worry about all the soapy water going on the floor. It's just soap. Make sure everything is adjusted properly as you go along. to the side and bring it down. Now you want to cut off the excess film. Make sure you're pressing on your ruler right up into the edge. Grab your sharp knife and cut it right down. So now that all your edges are all cut up, you're going to have some bubbles left and some stuff you need to squeegee out. So just finish it up by getting all the soap out on all the edges here. Oh, 
all the way at the bottom, squeeze it all out. It's still bubbling a lot, so that means I need to cut it a bit more. Just cut it. Just gonna freehand this. If you see anything after and you, that you made a mistake, you can always peel it off and redo the entire thing over again. But I don't wanna do that. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is just grab your rag and just clean up all the excess soap, all the soapy water that you had from the mess. All right, that's looking good. Can't have any more creepy neighbors looking at me. I'm gonna use the rest of my film to do this panel here. And since you guys already know how to do it, I'm just gonna do it for myself. So as you can see right here that I have a framing outside my window. So I just cut the film right at the frame right behind. So you can't see it from the front, but this saves you a bunch of film and you don't have to buy a whole another roll just to do something like this. So right here, I just cut it right along here. This is the Frosted Rabbit Go window film. check out the window. I can do yoga without people peeping on you. Come. Another video. Come, how does it look? Let's see. Looks good. Now open the door. Yeah. Let's go check it out outside. Go outside. There's people out there. Ooh. I don't care. Go outside. I need shoes. Don't need shoes. Okay. There you have it, guys. The Rabbit Go Window Privacy Film. It was pretty easy. Uh, let me know in the description below if you guys have done it. And yeah, how it holds up. I think it will hold up pretty good. And that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.